this for a true blue dinky dye Aussie bloke? Stopping staff. Well, Matt Wright is the crop catching outback wrangler, and I'm pleased to say that he joins us now. Hey, right. Big round of applause for a man who's just, you're killing it both here and overseas. It's going very well. By Thank killing it, I don't mean. No, no, animals. no killing. I mean, no, just, just going really, yeah, really well. Yeah, it's, it's uh, got legs and it's, uh, it's going really well. So the <laughs> testosterone just went up a long way in <laughs> Just a long way. You're such a man. Thanks, guys. I find it embarrassing <laughs> to be seen with you. No, no. Oh, <laughs> right. So uh, you want to do your top button a little bit. Sort of I know, just show me the chest <laughs> Loosen up a bit. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. You, you are coming up towards well, the end I, of the year. I would love to come know. up, yes, late September we'll and have you a way, um, He's quick, threatening. Yeah. 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 See a if quick 101 on how to um, catch one of these. How yeah. to wrestle animals. a crop. Bring well, the kids up, Avery yeah. will be able to handle it. Yeah. Yeah, well, why don't you, to prepare Carl and the kids for us, mm -hmm. tell, us, tell us what it's like the first time you have one of those incredibly angry beasts beneath you. <laughs> it's, it, it's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like any animal. You have to, uh, you have to take it easy. Just, just not... Um, uh, I thought Lisa would come back <laughs> with, with a, a, big with a beast clean underneath. head. <laughs> yeah. He's got an extra string in his head. I want to know, genuinely, um, is it like when you jump on board? No, you... you, you <laughs> go on. you got to... Uh, ask a serious yeah, question Yeah, totally, here. totally. Um, no, just uh, understand the animal before you uh, go jumping on it. The audio department are not... Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're encouraging. It's like uh, yeah, National Geographic. Could show. Carl jump on board? Yeah, you come up for a look, for sure. How would you go hey, yeah. think, being on top of a croc? I've been on top of a croc before. Yeah. Pete yeah. came up for a uh, yeah, yeah. good run. Yeah. We got, uh, you don't often out there. How does it... sit back and let Pete beat no, you. No, that's uh, exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> he does, though. He, he does. Tell me about this book and, and, and the story of where it all began, because you don't just wake up one morning, go out there and, and jump on a croc. No, it was um, it's up to, you know, Mum's disgust. I was out always out catching snakes and lizards and living an adventure throughout the countryside and then um, school wasn't really one for me. I yeah. did finish it and, as, and uh, as soon as I could I headed north and just, just growing up and the, and the lessons that mum taught me yeah. growing up were pretty valuable. In fact, we've got an exclusive photograph here of you at an early age. You were clearly trouble from um, from your early days. That's you there. What's yeah. the story uh, there? Was, that was the start of the trouble. Yep. <laughs> no. Had to get... Uh, Put in a straight jacket <laughs> <laughs> and chained to the back lawn. <laughs> Looks like something from Pop Fiction. <laughs> 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 who, who, oh, that is a great that, shot. Who or what inspired you to do what you did mm. and do what you're doing? Um, I don't know. Uh, there wasn't. There was a couple of role models as I grew. One was definitely Mum and the how outgoing she was uh, in the in the wild, in the sort of wild side of things and. The other was um, a good friend of ours up in Jerry, uh, up in Cairns, called Jerry, and he yeah, just um, he just loved living life to the max and taught me about a lot of things about the wildlife mm. and conservation and, and looking after everything that we have around us. So it um, this is sort of where it ended up after uh, learning a few lessons from some great mentors. You must um, uh, do you do you struggle go, coming into the cities now, now this thing's going nuts around the world. Mm. Um, do you struggle sort of moving around cities or do you is that where you prefer to be out there? It you know we, I come down to Sydney mm. every so often and it's great to come down and see some friends. Yeah. But um, yeah definitely up up north where we're at. Uh, what do you love about it? It's just the freedom. You got so much freedom up there. It's you land the chopper anywhere. We can jump on one of our airboats. You know, we can we can travel anywhere and everywhere as quick as we. I love want. the look of those airboats. Mm, Your yeah. show is going <laughs> nuts overseas, and I know you just recently went over to the United States to you know pitch it to yeah. networks and whatnot. Um, what's been the reaction in the United States, and she what kind of feedback crop. are you getting? Mm. Um, feedback's been been very good, thanks, Sylvia. It's um. It's something new, it's something raw for them. You know, you've got a lot of uh, shows on alligators and, and there were quite a few shows that came out on Crocs earlier in the piece, but this is our job up north and this is sort of what, what we do do on a on a day to day basis. So just to tell that story alone, is it, it keeps it real, it keeps it 
pretty much what, what we're doing. Are you single no ties? Pardon? Are you single no ties? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, Timmy's having a crack. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's just looking after the women of Australia. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, <laughs> all right, <laughs> pressure's on. No, I do have a, uh, a, a great girl from Perth. You uh, have got a fabulous girlfriend. Yes, you've met her there, yes. haven't you, Lisa? Yes. She's a so, knockout. Yes, so uh, she's living in Darwin with me now, just opened up a little cafe. Oh, I'm not sure. All over the, the country. <laughs> I'm seriously not sure who's luckier, you or your beautiful girlfriend. No, she's uh, she's sold to the earth. Yeah. Good man. It's great to see you. Um, and and look, this is a terrific read. Yeah. Uh, Matt Wright's book is uh, is out uh, now or very soon. Um, so go and grab it and uh, stay tuned for his show too. It's uh, it's a fabulous show. That's we'll right. It's yeah. coming on Channel Nine. Coming on to Channel yeah. Nine later this year. Very awesome. shortly. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's going to so be terrific. Be see you in late September, buddy. There we go. Let's get amongst it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get your wrangling on. See, we, need to, <laughs> we need a few cameras on that trip. No, no. For sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Right. Okay. Thanks, guys.